He scans the package so that you think your package was delivered. And then when you come outside, you assume it was a porch pirate, but it was really the Amazon delivery driver the whole oh. time. These shady Amazon workers need to be stopped in their tracks. That's sneaky, bro. That's sneaky. He scans it and then he takes it. So he frames the porch pirate. Yo, that is real sneaky. Uh, like, why steal? Like, don't they make enough money? I don't know how much money Amazon workers make, to be honest, guys. Like, I don't think it's that much. Granted, obviously, stealing is very, very wrong. Definitely not condoning that. But, like, I don't believe that this guy's well off. Just putting that out there. But sneaky guy, we see you. Covering cameras with post-it notes. Oh, she's prepping the big heist. Well, she missed this one. <laughs> Who the hell is that behind her? What now? Now they steal it. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing ever. Yo, this is the dumbest thing ever, because yeah, you put the post-it note there, but like we saw you put the post-it note, and, <laughs> and then when we look at the thing, it's like our packages are gone now, it's like, huh, I wonder who possibly could have done that, you know? <laughs> the, the magical porch pirate ghost must have stole it, or maybe it was that one lady who looked pretty sketchy and put a fucking post-it note on my goddamn camera. Funny, man. And she's a 10, but the ring camera always detects her as a package. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, oh my gosh. I love that video. That's so cute. Uh, that's the best kind of package, a little corgi package. What a little cutie. She looks like a little bread <laughs> when she's a 10. She is a 10. I agree. <laughs> no. Aww. You can have it, little guy. It's okay. You went to all this work. Oh, that is the cutest little porch pirate. That's a porch pirate. Oh, look at him. He doesn't even know. Maybe it's like a food thing. Maybe he smells the food. He's just like, oh, wow. Like, look at this food I just got. I'm gonna bring this back. Bring this home to Mama Bear, to Papa Bear. They're gonna be so proud of me. You can, Honestly, he has it now. It's his. He earned it. <laughs> Yo, I love I love the music choice for all these. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I just worm my way over there, it's not stealing. <laughs> and he left his jacket. Dude, what was this thinking? This guy's thinking is like, okay, well, maybe, maybe if I can have like one foot on the sidewalk and then like inch my body over here, maybe it's not stealing because like, like I'm, like I'm on public property, which you still actually weren't. But this logic to me just makes zero sense whatsoever. Like he thinks this is gonna look more discreet than walking up and taking it, but you just <laughs> look like a freaking idiot, man. Like if I was walking down the street, I'd be like, what the f is that guy doing? Like, <laughs> come on. Why are you stealing that package? Oh. It's, it's not yours. It's not your package. Right? Not yours. Put that package. He stole that package. I think that he like really um, gave himself away when he was like, is this your package? <laughs> you know, like he had to double check. He had to double check that he wasn't stealing their package in front of them because then he couldn't keep up the lie. You know what I mean? I mean, I feel like it's not his package because why would you pick it up and then take it away? But it's not my wallet. Maybe it was. I think I'm just being optimistic. I don't think it was. Oh, I think I've seen this before. Okay. He gave it to me. The... 
Yeah, walk it back. Walk it back, bro. Walk it back. Yo, the fact that this guy straight up tried to think, like, he's like, he gets it. He's walking away with it. He sees the car and then he's like, oh yeah, here you go. I was just handing this to you because I knew that you were coming and I knew this was yours. I don't think that's gonna fly, big guy. I think, yeah, you just gotta walk that thing back, put that thing down and just cross your fingers that they do not call the police on you. Here you go. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was pressured into it by my friend that was with us yesterday, and he, he does that type of stuff, but um, he always pressured into it. Okay, well. Okay. Well, hopefully you learned your lesson. You're lucky, you're lucky that you got someone that's a little bit more forgiving, because that would have been really dangerous. Yeah. If it could have, if it was someone else. Yeah, I'm sorry. So. That's not the worst ever. Like, respect for, you know, coming back and apologizing, whatever. Think about it next time, okay? All right. No, he doesn't do it again, does he? Okay. All right, we're walking off. Hopefully that's kind of like the last time that you're ever gonna do that. You just got scared shitless and now you're just never ever gonna do that again. I think everybody deserves you know, one or two chances. So give this guy the benefit of the doubt and just say he got pressured into it. He was peer pressured, trying to be cool. And like, you know, now he got caught and he's apologizing. So, okay, respect in that regard. But yeah, don't do it again, big guy. Interesting tactic. Seems like weird. Seems almost more obvious to do it that way. And he left his sweater behind, no problem. But you know what I mean? Like, if you like sit down and then you're like reaching and your legs are going crazy, I'm more likely to notice you than if you just like walk up, pick it up, like leave, like regular, you know what I mean? I'd be like, what is that person doing and why are their legs all over the place? Maybe that's just me though. Oh, he's Bolton. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, this was poorly planned. This was really poorly planned. That cop was so perfectly placed too. You'd think if you're gonna do something like that, like again, you know, I'm never gonna do something like this, like this is wrong. But if I was, then I'd like, you know, do a quick check behind and see, oh, there's a police officer right over there. Maybe I'ma hold off for a little while instead of just bolting. And the thing is he bolts and he picks it up and then he just walks like nonchalantly like, dude, Go, run, you have it now. Ugh. Wow, three big ones. How many are we going for? Oh, wow. Yo, no way. That's crazy. What, like I feel for the dog though, like the, just a dog was in there, but that poor dog, that dog is just like sitting in there that whole time just waiting for this possible eventuality. I feel like this had to be, this had to be a, a, a clip of, or like, like we filmed this on purpose because, or else that dog, like, and, and, what, and what's keeping that dog in there? This is just, I have so many questions for this one guys. You have a bottle of water? You want a bottle of water? Come in, don't run. You want a bottle of water, you knock it door for a bottle of water. You don't come in this big report. Uh-huh. Nothing like that. What's going on? What the hell? All right, hold on, hold on. Put it down. What you doing up here? Trying to get the bottle out. Come in, man. I don't even know what to make of this one. He wanted a bottle of water, so he was like, just walked in and stole it from them. But then, like, they ended up being really cool. He was like, I just wanted a bottle. A bottle of water? What? I couldn't speak there. I just wanted a bottle of water, and they're like, well, come on in. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of this one. I mean, I've never seen it. What I meant to say is that I've never seen anything like this, is what I meant to say. Honestly, that's awesome. That is really awesome. Like, I feel like that guy's gonna feel the guilt. You know, after he opens something like that, he reads that message, sees the crap that you just put in there. He's gonna feel the guilt. So well done. I, I love that, I love that. You know, and the put it on TikTok too. This is just the perfect way to handle this situation. I'm very happy with this. Good job, humanity. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't think I've seen this one yet. Just 
Walks down the steps, takes a nice little snap right there. All right, I delivered it, did my job. Great, that picture looks good. Cool, now I got a brand new package. Wow. Wow. Damn, man, like, so this is why I haven't getting my freaking disposable uh, or like coffee things. I keep ordering coffee and I'm not getting them. And it's, you know, if, if they say that there's a problem shipping, but like, it's really, we know what's going on, guys. We know what's happening here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. No. No! Dang it. I hate that one because like you just know that they were really just trying to do a good job and be thorough because if they did, if that was garbage and they didn't grab the box and somebody would be like, oh my God, these lazy garbage men, blah, 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 blah. So I hate this one because I think that that was an honest mistake. You know, really just trying to do the job, dil really just trying to do the job diligently, which I respect and appreciate, but it went awry this time. Wow. Where, what's, where are we? Where are they? Is she coming back? Oh, she's not coming back. She, she won. She got it. Man, the fact that it's straight up Amazon workers who were doing this too, I just never thought that that would be a thing. But I mean, it makes perfect sense, right? Like they scan it and then, then they can show their boss and just say, hey, I did put it there. Like I scanned it. It was there. I dropped it off. And you know, like what, what's your boss going to say about that? Unless you literally have the camera footage like they do, in which case you're screwed. If, you, if you're going to do something like this, you have to be double checking everywhere. Like you got to be scanning the area which they're not doing with why they're getting caught so good get caught <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. oh we bagged it up oh and we're gone oh oh caught though so happy that my dude like got caught right as it happened, man. That's I was like comedic timing, you know. He goes off camera and then whoop back on camera, except being held by the freaking backpack. Like GG, let's go. But anyone take the bait? It was past 1 a.m. when our bait. cameras caught this guy snatching the package and driving off. In his Somebody would take the bait is the answer to the question, apparently. The GPS pinpoints the location to this home. Did you steal the package? No, I didn't try to steal it, I swear. I swear, I was gonna deliver it to the right person. It turns out oh. this guy is a US postal worker. He says he saw the package on his route, but he was not charged after police confirmed he was a postal worker. Here's your package. Hey, thanks, gentlemen. Right. At another home, the ring surveillance camera recorded this footage beep. Okay, I got a question. So he wasn't charged just because he works for the Postal Service? I mean, that just like seems like a good excuse, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I work for the Postal Service, so every time you get caught with a package, just because you work for the Postal Service doesn't mean you're not trying to steal packages, perhaps. Why would you take it? Hmm, I got a lot. And it said 1.30 a.m.? In America, does the Postal Service deliver at 1.30 a.m.? That's what it said, right? It was past 1 a.m. when our kids... Yeah, it was past 1 a.m. What are you doing grabbing people's packages at 1 a.m.? Overtime? <laughs> Maybe they really do deliver packages that late in America, but I have some doubts. Amazon stole our packages and replaced them with an empty wine box. Oh, he replaced them. Okay, we're looking around. We're double checking everything. And... Quick swap, and he's gone. Quick swap, and he's gone. That's even smarter, that's even sneakier. Cause then, the people who got the box can claim it was it was the sender. It wasn't Amazon, you know, it was it was something else. Or, or I don't know, but it looked like at least there's something there, you know? So you can go back and say like, I, I definitely dropped something off, it was there. And that's even sneakier, man. These guys are menaces. 
Package thief caught in action. Oh, I'm making a run for it. Oh, okay, so this is where he takes the photo. Knocks on the door. But then comes back. Or wait, no, that's the package thief. Wait. Oh, okay, 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 never mind. Here we go. By Here Felicia. Uh-oh, uh-oh, yeah, 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 not getting it today, not getting it today. Nice try, though. I thought it was gonna be one of those ones where, uh, where the guy over here, like, Amazon worker, where, like, whoever he works for, uh, drops it off, takes the picture, and then just takes the package, because I've seen so many of those ones, man. And that one is, like, like, that's smart, pretty slick, you know? But then you get caught on camera, and, like, you literally lose your job, as well as probably the package, too, so. Unless it, like, if it has a camera, you're gonna get caught pretty quickly, but, uh, but if it doesn't, then, like, that, that's just, like, sick, man. I'd be like, where did my package go? And Amazon worker's, like, taking it from me. <sighs> Oh. Oh, 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 he thought that he was getting away with that, no problem. I'm glad she yelled, hold on. But he's gonna try and make up some excuse, isn't he? Oh, I was just here to check your water or whatever. Yep. Oh. Oh, I love that. She called it right out as she saw it. No worries, she's got this. That's so funny. I thought you were delivering or taking. <laughs> Savage. Um, yeah, I'm not hiring you for yard work after I just saw you try and steal my package. No thanks. Camera recording. Oh, 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 oh. I was just joking. Oh. <laughs> Hello, um, hi. Are y'all home? Okay, um, um, bye. That is so funny, man. That is hilarious. This kid waves to the thing. I was just joking. And then the thought process, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like you see everything going on up here like it's slowly moving. It's like oh Well, maybe I was just knocking on the door instead <laughs> and he thinks that he's gonna try to sell that that's hilarious Oh, man, honestly, this one's cute like just cuz he's a kid, but you shouldn't be stealing little guy Come on. You should know better. Don't do that. I'm gonna teach you. We gotta instill it early <laughs> Aww. Oh, he doesn't deserve instant justice. Look at him. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's your package now. Yo, there has to be some sort of food in that. Like, it, it just has to be, right? There's no way that he's doing that with a freaking toaster or like some sort of like electronic or something. You ordered a bunch of food. You are in country where clearly there is bears around it. You know, it's like, this is, you gotta, second you get it, that package needs to come on inside, man. Cause that is his thing now. Like, you're not getting that back. There's no way I'm going for that. I don't care how much beef jerky I ordered. That is, that bear's beef jerky now. That is dangerous. Hello? Can I help you? Hello? No. I have a package here. Though. Can I help you? Can I have I a you? package here, baby. Can you leave it there? Yeah, come get it. Yeah. Thank you. Coming down. Rodney, go get the package. Okay, thank you. That's such a weird thought. You're lucky I didn't take it. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for not stealing my package. What a thoughtful gesture. I really respect and appreciate that. Like, what am I supposed to say, mister? No. Mm-mm. Well, I couldn't see the thing at the phone at the end, but I guess they got him. I guess they got him. Honestly, like, that looks so sketchy, though, off the top. Like, it looked like this guy was just, like, full up, like, having his way with, <laughs> having his way with the, with, like, whatever that was, like, the drink aisle or something, you know? Like, dude, somebody's gonna see that and think, what the hell is going on? Even if you're not stealing something, something is happening here that I do not want to be a part of, man. Taking her. UPS and FedEx. Oh, wow. Wow. Bro. 
He's taking that company competition seriously. Seriously. Wow. That's what I'm talking about though. Like literally the Amazon worker comes, drops it off, takes a picture. And the fact is, like he, he's gonna keep his there so he can hold on to his job and take the other one so then the other guys get in trouble. That's like a that's like a two bird, one stone situation right there. You know, it's like we're taking out the UPS, we're taking out the FedEx, and I get a bunch of stuff. Except now, you know, you're probably out of a job because this is a clip, so. Ugh. It's a lot of Amazon smiles there. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! There was a whole dog in there? How is he so still? Oh my god, I gotta go back. <laughs> oh my gosh! How is the dog so still in there the whole time? That's crazy. And that person knew. They walked up and then as soon as they got there, they realized that something was going on. A German Shepherd. No problem, he'll handle it. German shepherds are always out here busting criminals. I love it. Oh my, yeah. Those are a lot of boxes, man. Yeah, that is a lot of boxes just to be walking down the street with big guy. You got like, yeah, like six or seven packages right there. And I imagine like these police officers probably saw him like walk in to another person's thing and get the box. That's insane, man. Like this guy made a full operation out of it. You'd think that he'd at least have like some sort of like runner. You know, it's like he gets the box, sends it to another guy, and then the other guy like runs it back home, comes and you know, it's like they, they got a whole operation going, but I guess this was not planned out effectively and uh, you got caught. So, sucks to steal, dude. I to run, but I had to pee so bad that she stopped to piss on his stairs. Oh, wow. Wow, you couldn't have just taken my package. You couldn't have just taken my package. You straight up had to piss on my stairs too? That's unforgivable. That, the, okay, the, this one, 100%. Instant justice needs to come to you immediately. You literally, pe like, you just like defamed my freaking steps and you stole my package. I hate you. I hate you, the worst human being alive. Right, ooh, I think I've seen this one. I've seen at least whatever's going on here because I know these stairs, you know what I mean? I haven't seen this exact one because I'm pretty sure what I've seen is when somebody like slips or something after they get off these stairs. <laughs> this was like a kid getting in trouble by their parent. You know what I mean? That was like the energy and the vibe of this. Oy. You got caught and confronted like to a T. The definition of being caught and confronted was what we just saw here. DoorDash guy stealing Amazon oh, package. The DoorDash guy. <laughs> I love the music, man. Oh, takes a picture like that. Oh, wow, that's crazy, man. He took pictures with both of them too, so he could like, he could tell a story, a different story both times. Like, oh no, I dropped it off, nothing was there. Or no, I did drop it off, something was there. Somebody must have taken it, you know? It's like, I, I thought it was there, it was fine. Walking away. Well, now the packages are gone. Oh wait, different angle. We're looking at a different angle now. Okay, so we knocked. So wait, wait, wait. Did he knock on a on the second floor, and then so we delivered a package on the second floor, knocked on it, and then walked down and then stole another package? Is that what just happened there? Wow. Like the, my my guy had like multiple. Went on a full side quest here, if that's the case. You know, did his whole like main mission, and then was like, oh. Maybe I'll have a little bit of this, maybe a little bit of that. All right, big guy, we see you. That's a, that's an instant justice there for sure, though. I hope so. There you go. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was pressured into it by my friend that was with us yesterday, and he, he does that type of stuff, but 
Um, he always pressured into it. Okay, well, you're Arsenal. lucky. You're lucky that you got someone that's a little bit more forgiving, because that would've been really dangerous. With if it could, if it were someone else. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, think about it next time, okay? All right. I mean, yeah, like, I don't even know. I need to know more backstory over, like, what happened and why this person, like, ended up returning the package that they stole. But, like, you know, that's a nice interaction he did. Whether of his own accord or not, he did return the package and apologized and whatever. I mean, you gotta take a little more responsibility. Do you understand? Peer pressure's a very real thing, but at the same time, I don't think anybody could peer pressure me into stealing somebody's package. I go, no, you're insane. That's so stupid. No, thank you. But I get it. Um, and I'm glad that they were just like, you know, this is very real. I'm forgiving, but not everyone is, which is so true. People are crazy, okay? Uh-oh. Whoa. Wow, buddy just got, the fact that somebody set that up, that's insane, man. That they literally went to the trouble of setting that up. Maybe this has happened to them before. Maybe they've just like consistently been hit with these freaking Porsche pirates, man. No, this is fake. This is fake. This is so fake. There's no way. There's just no way. No, no, it can't be. No, that's got that is fake as hell, guys. That is obviously fake as hell. Like you see them in the window, and this guy goes full up like Tom Cruise Mission Impossible on it, just like prone in his way down. That honestly, if you were able to pull that off, like that's impressive. Still not condoning stealing here, folks, but that would be an impressive feat if you did manage to do it. But uh, I, I'm thinking that this one's got to be a bit of a fib.